Welcome to day three. Adventures. Welcome back to Adventures by Kayla to the Here. Pony Express Museum here in Missouri. Let's go check it out. Keep yeah, it's a grazing muzzle, yeah. Eighteen forty four, the first wagon train left out from Saint Joseph. What it does is it shows you what the see it's still going, but it'll show you they all start at the same time. Which one gets there first? The pony. Okay. Oh wow. Um, wow. Um, the candle mold? No, I think the flower. Oh. I think on those. Those, right? I don't know. Right Yeah. That's the big thing. It's not inside of there. Oh. Okay. Like the little shirt. Yeah, this is like the little. Wow. This is like. Wow. Could they, they could live in here and look? They have all their bridles. See their bridles and then their saddles. See you on that one. Look, and that's where they put. The, they're not for sale, honey. They're on display. Look, that's where they'd put the mail in those pockets. See. Pony Express Museum is awesome. So this first room is like when they first left out of St. Joseph, Missouri. Then it goes into showing you like what the outbuildings would have been, um, as well as like the route they would take. They've got the saddles and stuff like that. This is so great. If you're a horse person at all, you'd love this. Fun fact, the reason why court horses are not used there is because they had not been developed yet and they're a combination of a lot of those horses. Here are all the stations they had. Wow. It's a lot of stations. <laughs> I love the museum. It's just a little small, so don't plan a probably plan like at most an hour before it's very small. and where they were stationed. Very cool. 
It is. Yeah. There's the oath, a Bible. And look, Caitlin, they gave him a Bible. There's their Bible. And then the rifle. That's so cool. Last surviving Kings Press Rider. Well, it, does it tell here how long it was built in 1858? It didn't start like 18. That's where they would. This is Pony Express headquarters. So I guess that was a stable down there. And, yeah, that's Jesse James' house. Yep. And he was killed right there at his. Uh, oh, I gotta get that. I got that. And here is the home where Jesse James was killed. So the story with Jesse James is that he was held up here trying to like hide out because he was wanted or something. Um, and he had a disagreement with one of his gang members about turning in another one of the gang members. And so he was killed by one of the gang members who was shot in the back. You know? Fun fact. All right, the Truman House rankings. All right, I'll go first. Six out of 10. It was just a presidential library, but nothing special. Okay, Sean? I will say, I really liked it. I, I'm gonna give it another eight. As far as the presidential things that I've been to, I like it. It ranks up our number one. I'm sure you rank it, like eight or whatever. As far as what it showed, what happened during his presidency, how they displayed it, how how much of it there was, uh, it's the best presidential thing I've been to. I've been to. What was the one in the? An eight. Mom didn't even pay to go in. So what would you give that mama one? Ah, uh, one. <laughs> yeah. You just don't like that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you never know what you're getting at these things. Okay, Pony Express Museum. I will say a uh, like six and a half, maybe. Still I'm between down. a six and a seven. I was very excited to see that. And then I guess the only thing I realized that it lasted for like 18 months and there just wasn't, I thought the museum could have been done better just compared to, we've done museums all day, that was the worst museum as far as informative and displays and setups. I disagree Even with that. Even though I thought that would have been really cool to see how they did that. I got the information I wanted, but it's a little more rinky dink. So I put it a six and a half. Dad? Yeah, I'm, I'm down there too, I don't know. It seemed like this is probably a, it's not government supported. Yeah, so for what they had to work with, they did a good job. Yeah, see, we're talking about comparing it to a government supported president and a government supported memorial. So I didn't dislike it. No, I'm, I'm they could have done better, but it was good. Yeah. So what'd you give it, Dad? Six. Mom? I liked it, and it was pretty The only thing I think it could have possibly been better is to have horses out there to give them like a pony ride. I mean, I think it's an eight and a half for the actual item that you have to do. Their uh, displays were fantastic. Their artifacts was great. Uh, it was really informative. Last right, for 18 months. I mean, I thought it was 10 times better I than the Truman thing. Really? You liked that? You thought that was better than Truman? I thought it was better than all the ones we saw today. Oh, right. 10 times better. It went. But like, I, I enjoy that more, obviously. Oh, it made me think a lot of the show Young Riders. Okay. Because that's what they did. They were Pony Express Riders. I'm saying, like, I it's just like, it it's just like Americana. Yeah, like, yeah I did too. I thought they did.
the two of them. The Nebraska. I didn't get that. We're in Iowa. We missed the sign. Oh no. I didn't know we were that close. Turn around. Oh, we want to go to party. But why are we in the area that's like not the tourist? downtown that's area why do. are we yeah. into like the we slums always, <laughs> we always go through that's we want it to look like <laughs> we want it to be the you real. Had your trouble with your car mm. <laughs> no the, we want the real city be like we don't want to go to the tourist spots we want to experience the true city of Omaha if you can find an old subway or something that's closed down the whole part of the town is run down that's the guy you know what I remember Omaha being is the place where they had that pig slaughter factory for babe or whatever knowing he need to go to Omaha uh, Look for that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they have scooters everywhere, Dad. You'd they hate that. Stupid greenway things. Yeah, it's for what electric all these scooters. people park for? Do you see anything going on? And there's the Nebraska State Office building. You're getting to see downtown well, this Omaha. This We gotta have a picture of this. It's grown up. They're letting it run down. The dang grass ain't even mowed. Hurry up and get it. I got traffic backed up for miles. Come <laughs> 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 in here and, and load boats up. And what? They've just run out of water? Exactly what's happening. So we're trying to check out the Lewis and Clark landing yeah. in Omaha, Nebraska. It is closed because this Sunday, um, the visitor center. So we're just going to check out the landing, which is one of the places that they stopped and camped along their 8,000 mile There's journey of two and a half hours. <laughs> Like, two, two and and <laughs> <laughs> it took two and a half years and to travel 8,000 miles and map out the western part of North America. Labor. It's a monument to labor. I like his wake surfing. with the construction, so I don't wander around more of just like a greenway. Skip it unless you can go through the visitors and actually check the hours online. Thank you so much for watching our road trip out west to Yellowstone, Mount Rushmore, Monument Valley, and all the highlights out west. Please hit like and subscribe so you never miss an episode, and that way you're able to see any other adventures that we may have. So thank you so much for watching. Bye from Mount Rushmore, South Dakota.